Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something really exciting to share with you. If you've been looking for a comprehensive guide on Soxip Tunnel VPN, you're in the right place. I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about this amazing VPN application, from using built-in free servers to setting up your own custom servers across different protocols. Soxip Tunnel is one of the most versatile VPN applications available, offering multiple tunneling protocols including UDP request, slow DNS, also known as DNS tunnel, and SSH SSL tunneling. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced user, this tutorial will help you master all the features. So make sure to watch till the end because I'll be covering some pro tips that will significantly improve your connection speed and security. Before we dive in, if you're new to my channel, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my tech tutorials. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. It really supports the channel and helps others discover this content. Now, let's get started. First, let's talk about UDP request using built-in servers. This is the easiest method to get started with Soxip Tunnel. To begin, you'll need to install the application. Open your Google Play Store and type Soxip Tunnel in the search bar. Press Enter and from the search results, find and tap on Soxip Tunnel. Hit the Install button and wait for a few minutes while the app downloads and installs on your device. Once the installation is complete, launch the Soxip Tunnel app. You'll land on the home screen where you can see various options. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice a gear icon. This is your gateway to all the configuration settings. Tap on this gear icon to access the settings menu. In the configuration section, you'll see different tunneling protocols listed. For UDP request with built-in servers, select UDP request from the tunnel mode options. Now, look at the top right corner of your screen. You'll see a crown icon. This crown icon gives you access to all the free servers provided by Soxip Tunnel. Tap on it to open the server list. You'll now see a list of different servers from various locations around the world. Take a moment to browse through them. An important tip here is to always check the server expiry date before selecting one. Free servers do expire, so you want to make sure you're choosing one that's still valid and will work for a reasonable amount of time. Once you've found a suitable server, tap on it to load it into your configuration. Now here's where you can optimize your connection. You can edit the UDP request settings to improve performance. I recommend setting the receiver counter to 255 and the port to 65535. These settings generally provide the best performance, but feel free to experiment with different values to see what works best for your network. After adjusting these settings, click the arrowhead button to return to the home screen. You're now ready to connect. Simply tap the start button on the home screen and Soxip Tunnel will establish a secure VPN connection using the UDP request protocol with the free server you selected. Within a few seconds, you should be connected and enjoying fast, secure internet access. Now let's move on to setting up UDP request with custom servers. Custom servers give you more control and reliability compared to free built-in servers. They're especially useful if you need a long-term solution or if the free servers are crowded. To create your own UDP request server, open Chrome or any web browser on your device. In the search bar, type UDP custom and tap on the first result to visit the website homepage. Once you're on the UDP custom website, Look for the menu button, usually located at the top of the page. Tap on it to reveal the menu options. From the menu list, select UDP Premium. This will show you a submenu with different server creation options. Click on UDP request from this submenu to begin creating your server. You'll be taken to a server creation page where you need to make a few choices. First, select a location for your server. Choose a location that's geographically closer to you for better speeds, or select a specific country if you need to access content from that region. Next, you'll see an account form where you need to enter a username and password. You can use any username and password you like, just make sure to remember them or write them down as you'll need these credentials to connect. After entering your username and password, click the Create button. The website will process your request and create your custom UDP request server. This usually takes just a few seconds. Once the server is created, you'll see all the server details displayed on the screen. This includes the IP address, port number, 
username, and password. Make sure to copy all these details carefully. Now, go back to your SockSip Tunnel app. If you haven't installed it yet, download it from the Play Store as I explained earlier. Once you're in the app, tap on the gear icon to access settings. In the Tunnel Mode section, select UDP Request. Now you need to enter all the custom server details you just created. Input the IP address exactly as shown on the website, then enter the username and password you created, and don't forget to add the port number. Double check all the information to make sure everything is correct. Save these settings and return to the home screen. Now tap the start button to connect using your custom UDP request server. You should now have a reliable, personalized VPN connection. Next, let's explore SlowDNS, also known as DNS Tunnel, using built-in servers. SlowDNS is a unique tunneling protocol that routes your traffic through DNS queries. This method is particularly useful for bypassing certain network restrictions and provides an additional layer of privacy. Launch your SockSip Tunnel app and navigate to the home screen. Tap on the gear icon on the left side to access the configuration settings. In the configuration menu, you'll see different tunnel protocols listed. This time, select DNS Tunnel from the menu options. Once DNS Tunnel is selected, tap on Configure to set up the DNS Tunnel settings. You'll see several options here. For the server type, choose Free Server since we're using the built-in servers. Now, for the DNS DD type, you have three options, UDP, DO which stands for DNS over HTTPS, and DOT which stands for DNS over TLS. Each has its own advantages. UDP is generally faster, while DO and DOT provide more encryption. Choose the one that suits your needs best. You'll also need to enter a DNS server address. You can use popular public DNS servers like Google's DNS at 8.8.8.8 or Cloudflare's DNS at 1.1.1.1. After entering the DNS server, it's time to select a free server from the list. Tap on the crown icon at the top of the app to access the free servers. Browse through the available slow DNS servers and select one. As always, check the expiry date to ensure the server is still valid. Tap on your chosen server to load it. Once everything is configured, go back to the home screen and tap the Start button to connect via the slow DNS tunnel. This protocol might be slightly slower than UDP request, but it offers excellent reliability and bypassing capabilities. Now, let's talk about setting up slow DNS with custom servers. Custom slow DNS servers give you more control and better long-term stability. To create your own slow DNS server, you'll need to find a reliable slow DNS server provider. Open your web browser and search for Slow DNS Server Creation Services. Once you've found a reputable provider, navigate to their server creation page. The process is similar across most providers. Select your preferred server location from the available options. Keep in mind that servers closer to your physical location will generally provide better speeds. You'll then need to fill in an account creation form. Enter a username and password of your choice. Some services might also require you to complete a reCAPTCHA verification to prove you're not a bot. After filling in all the required information, click the Create Server button. The server creation process usually takes just a few seconds. Once your server is created, you'll be provided with several important details. These typically include the DNS server address, name server information, username, password, and possibly a key or secret. Make sure to copy all these details carefully as you'll need them to configure your VPN. Now, open your SockSip Tunnel app and tap on the gear icon to access settings. Select DNS Tunnel as your tunnel mode and tap on Configure. This time, instead of choosing Free Server for the server type, select Custom Server. You'll now see fields where you can enter all the server details you just created. Input the DNS server address, name server, port number, username, and password exactly as provided by your server. Select the appropriate DNS DD type, whether it's UDP, DO, or DOT, based on what your custom server supports. After entering all the information, save your settings and return to the home screen. Tap Start to connect using your custom slow DNS server. You now have a personalized, reliable DNS tunnel connection. Let's move on to SSH and SSL tunneling. This is a more advanced method, but offers excellent security. First, we need to create SSH and SSL servers. 
open any web browser on your device. Either Chrome or Firefox works fine. In the search bar, type SSHS Celtio Niel and press enter. From the search results, click on the SSHS Celtio Niel website to access their homepage. If you're on mobile, tap on the menu button to reveal the navigation options. From the menu, select SSL servers. If you're on desktop, you can usually click directly on SSL servers from the homepage. You'll be redirected to a location selection page. Here, you'll see various server locations available. Choose your desired location by tapping on Choose Location. Consider selecting a location based on your needs, whether it's for accessing specific regional content or for optimal speed. After selecting your location, you'll be taken to the server creation page. On this page, you'll see an account form. Enter any username you'd like to use. Then create a strong password. You'll also need to complete a reCAPTCHA verification to proceed. Once you've filled in all the required information, tap the Create button. The server creation process is very quick, usually taking just a few seconds. Once your server is created, you'll see all the server details displayed on your screen. This includes the IP address or host name, SSH port, SSL or TLS port, your username, password, and the server's expiry date. Copy all these details carefully as you'll need them for the next steps. Now we need to configure SSH settings. Look for the three horizontal lines, also known as the hamburger menu, usually located at the top of the screen. Tap on it to reveal the sidebar menu. From this menu, select SSH settings. You'll now see a form where you need to enter your SSH server details. Input the IP address or host name exactly as shown when you created your server. Then enter the username and password you created earlier. You'll also need to input the SSH port, which is usually port 22 or 443, depending on what was provided when you created your server. Make sure all the information is correct, then save your SSH settings. Now, let's configure the SSL tunnel settings. Return to the Socked VPN home screen. In the Connection Methods section, select SSL Settings or SSL TLS Tunnel, depending on how it's labeled in your version of the app. The app will automatically use the SSH settings you just configured. SSL and TLS tunnels typically use port 443. Make sure the SSL port from your created server matches what's configured in the app. you're now ready to connect. Return to the home screen and tap the Start button. The VPN will establish a secure SSH SSL tunnel connection. You can swipe left to view the connection logs, which will show you whether the connection was successful or if there were any errors. These logs are very helpful for troubleshooting if something doesn't work right away. To verify that your VPN connection is working properly, you can check your IP address. Open any web browser and search for what is my IP or visit the UDP custom website or other IP checking services. Your displayed IP address should now reflect the server location you selected, not your actual location. This confirms that your VPN is working correctly and your traffic is being routed through the VPN server. Let me share some troubleshooting tips that can help you if you run into any issues. If your connection fails, the first thing to check is whether the server has expired. Free servers expire regularly, so always verify the expiry date. Also, double check that all your credentials are entered correctly. Even a small typo in the username, password, or IP address can prevent connection. If you're still having trouble, try selecting a different server location. Sometimes specific servers might be overloaded or experiencing issues. You can also check your own internet connection to make sure it's working properly. The connection logs in the app can provide valuable information about what went wrong, so make sure to review them. If you're experiencing slow connection speeds, there are several things you can try. First, 
consider choosing a server that's geographically closer to your actual location. Distance from the server can significantly impact speed. You can also try switching between different tunnel protocols. UDP request is generally the fastest, followed by slow DNS and then SSH SSL. For UDP requests specifically, you can adjust the settings like the receiver counter and port to optimize performance. Finally, keep in mind that free servers can sometimes be overloaded with too many users, which slows down everyone's connection. In such cases, creating your own custom server can provide much better performance. If a server stops working entirely, don't worry. Free servers expire, and that's completely normal. Always check expiry dates before connecting. If a free server has expired, you can simply select a different one from the list or create a new custom server. It's a good practice to save the details of servers you create so you can quickly reconnect or create new ones when needed. And that's everything you need to know about SockZip Tunnel. I've covered UDP requests with both built-in and custom servers, slow DNS configurations, and SSH SSL tunneling. Each method has its own advantages, so I encourage you to try them all and see which one works best for your needs. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow and lets me know that you want more content like this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're always notified when I upload new tech tutorials. I post regular content about VPNs, cybersecurity, and other useful tech topics. If you have any questions or run into any issues while setting up your VPN, please leave a comment below. I read all the comments and try to help everyone who reaches out. Also, let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Your feedback helps me create content that's truly useful for you. You can also follow me on all my social media platforms for more tech tips and updates. I've included all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay secure, and enjoy your fast, unrestricted internet access.